Hi guys, this is Prime Whiskey, I'm Rickard and today we have a special tasting or review. Uh, we're going to do all the 25 year old of uh, the existing distilleries of Isla. Let's get started. As someone may have been perceptive and see that the Arbeg is the 23 year old. And I had the Lord of the Isles, uh, 25 year old Arbeg, a couple of them, but it's hard to get, first of all, and I think the 23 year old is better than Lord of the Isles, so that's why I included this one. And of course, I don't have the 25 year old. Okay, so let's, let, let's get to it. We start with the Bunahabe, it's um, only peated at one or two ppm so it's uh, no smoke at all basically it's 46.3% uh, no added color or shield filtered okay on the nose some sweet toffee sherry notes actually I Try to find out what the maturation were, but uh, it only says sherry influence, so I couldn't find much more. So we have to assume that it's uh, bourbon barrels mostly and uh, a touch of uh, sherry. It's mostly some vanilla notes, but a hint of sherry. Okay, let's try it. Oh, this is excellent stuff. Uh, I tried it before, so I know how good it is. Um, mm, on the palate, you have uh, some raisin, dried fruit. Yeah. Mm, really sweet. Uh, maybe some roasted nuts as well. I save a little sip here and we move on to the Brookladi. And the Brookladi is uh, the sherry the sherry edition they call it. So it's a mixture of uh, Oloroso sherry and Pedro Zimenez. You can pardon my uh, bad expression there but I'll try it. The nose, some dried fruit here as well, it's rather sweet, maybe some nuts, almonds maybe, yeah, smells really great, take a sip. Mm, mm. Yeah, some orange, oranges coming through, and some chocolate in the background maybe, just a hint of chocolate. Yeah, um, rather sweet, uh, maybe some, uh, yeah, red wine-ish, uh, yeah, the sherry notes. Yeah, really nice. I come back with the uh, points later, which one I like the most. We're moving forward. Um, I tried all this before, but I haven't uh, done doing the, them against each other. So we go for the Bowmore. It's uh, oh, I, I forgot to tell you about the Brooklady. It's uh, forty-eight point one percent, and the Bowmore is forty-three percent, and it's. Um, it's a mixture of bourbon and sherry barrels. Let me peat now because these two are almost unpeated, uh, both of them, maybe 3 or 4 ppm in the Brookladi. But now you come to Bowmore, it's about 25 ppm. So uh, you can feel the smoke, the sweetness, the sherry notes. 
yeah, really nice. No one of <laughs> none of these are not good. Mm. On the palette, mm, really good. Um, some nothingness, uh, cream, creamy nothingness. Uh, the smoke coming through. Uh, some dried plums, maybe dried fruit. Hmm, really nice. Okay, we head for the Kulila. Uh, the Kulila, 25 year old, is uh, strictly bourbon, and it's uh, 43 percent. And. Uh, we go for the nose. Some lemon here, some toffee, smoke, obviously. Uh, the Kalila is about 35 to 40 ppm. It's uh, yeah, somewhere in between. The palette, not so much smoke as you can expect. Um, the citrus is there, some vanilla notes. Yeah, vanilla. Um, quite sweet, actually. Um, some uh, pepper, just a hint. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we go for the, the Lagavulin, 25 years old. It's the anniversary bowl they released, um, and uh, it's 51.7%, so it's uh, quite high ABV if you compare it to the other ones, uh, and it's cherry. Cherry oak matured all the way. You can see by the color. Go for the nose. Yeah, some peatiness. Um, the Kalila, uh, sorry, the Kalila is, as I said, about 35 ppm, and the Lagavulin is also about 35 ppm. Yeah, some uh, prunes, some figs, some syrup. Toffee, dried fruit, smoke is there as well. Take a sip. Mm. Wow, this is um, something else. Now we, yeah, it's uh, really, really good. It's um, the smoke is there, some honey, uh, the toffee, mm, syrup, mm. quite oily. Mm. Yeah, this is this is top notch. Okay, we move on to the Lafroy. The Freud, uh, 25 years old, is um, 45.1 ABV. Uh, it's a mixture of bourbon and uh, and cherry casks. This one as well. Um, Try it with nose. Oh, very good. Sweet uh, cherry raisins. Some smoke. Depending on where you look at the internet, uh, it's, the peatiness for uh, Lafroig is about the ppm is about 40 for five ppm. Takes it. Yeah, this is excellent stuff as well. I said it about, about everyone, but you have no no bad whiskey here. Mm. The sherry is coming through, some raisin, some uh, 
don't know what you call it in English, but the salt, saltiness maybe. S yeah, quite fruity. And some uh, oak from the barrels coming through as well. Yeah, excellent stuff. Okay. Last but not least, one that has two years less than the other ones. It's a 23 year old, and as I said in the beginning, uh, why I include this one was because I don't have the 25 year old Lord of the Isles, uh, obviously, but um, I tried a couple of the Lord of the Isles, and I think this one is better, so that's why I included it. Okay, go for the nose. Some creamy vanilla notes. The PPM is higher here. Ardvig is about maybe 50, 55, depending on where you where you look. Read. Maybe some trop tropical fruit here. The ABV is 46.3 uh, on the Ardvig, and um, it's a mixture as well on this one. It's another Lefroy, a, a mixture of bourbon and cherry, cherry casks. Okay, take a sip. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Yeah, wow. This is, this is also top notch. Um, you have some vanilla, of course. Some sherry notes, some dried fruit, raisin, the smoke is coming through, and the palette as well. Yeah, this is amazing stuff. Very good art bag. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give this whiskey uh, a mark on the International 100 scale, and I start with the Bruclari. I give it 90 points and uh, then we have the Kulilo I think it's about 91 points and uh, then we have the Bowmore I'll go for 92 points and then the Bunahali it's about 93 points maybe 94 it's uh, excellent stuff and then you have a little gap up to these three I think it's the better ones like a William Lafroy and Arbeg so the Lefroy I will give 96 points and uh, this too, like a wood in Arabic, I can't quite decide so I have to take another sip about this too and we'll see which one. First the Arbe, uh, sorry, the Lagavulin like and then the Arbe. Yeah. The Lagavulin is the better one for me. Uh, I think this one, 25 year old Lagavulin, is one of the best whiskies I've ever tried. Uh, I give it 98 points. But the Orbeg is almost there, so I give it 97.5 points. So it's a close call there. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching and if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and for more videos Please subscribe and I see you next time Cheers